on the breaks, um, especially in rehearsals, things like that. Um, generally on set, if you smoke, you're gonna go and have a cigarette and a natter, um, usually a coffee as well. Just generally because on a film set, especially, you don't know when your next gonna need to be on set. You don't know really how long it might take. It could be anywhere from five minutes to an hour. So you constantly, <laughs> constantly topping up. It's wouldn't recommend it. Don't smoke. The funniest person in the cast in real life. It has to be Pat. He's just he he keeps the mood up so well. We were all really drained on set, and he he's fantastic to work with. <laughs> Fast. No, um, <clears throat> when I'm not making films or plays, um, usually I'm trying to find the next one. Um, other than that, I mean, acting is, is my passion. It's, it's what I like to do in my free time. Um, yeah. It's just living and acting, basically. Uh, I think in the film, my character is fairly complex. So I think anyone who likes a little bit of mystery um, is going to naturally be drawn into my character. If I could do anything, um, actually, I'd want to get some West End experience. Um, purely because having gone and seen all of these productions, it seems like leagues above small town Amjam productions. And I, I can't imagine what it's like to stand on there on the stage and, and see all of these so many people wanting to see you. I think there are elements of me in the character um, the kind of the changeability of her um, however yeah the, there's, there, there's a kind of darkness to her um, that I I try not to uh, I try not to have um, I think in any role uh, you've got to find similarities between yourself and the character um, obviously it's going to be easier if the character's experiences um, and life story is a bit more similar to yours. But that doesn't mean I don't like a challenge. Um, I'm really interested in seeing what roles I can pull off. For some reason, my mind went to, um, was it Natalie Portman in uh, Black Swan? Um, purely because the, the, the kind of journey that her character goes on um, she's got a lot of, uh, a lot of diversity in what she can do. So that's who I'd see playing this character. That's a good one. one. Uh, the biggest challenge for me personally, um, during filming, uh, Chris and I had been to a party the night before, um, which didn't end until about three in the morning and we were we were both incredibly hungover all day so that was that was probably the biggest challenge to overcome was just looking presentable in front of the cameras <laughs> oh okay um with theater um i tend to get really nervous so i don't know if i can get up and do it but um i generally tend to do like a little bit of a, a nervous dance um, to try and get the nerves out of me because I get a really uh, I get a really nervous twinge down my arm so usually it's a lot of this it's <laughs> it's, it's fun to see <laughs> if there was a sequel to the film I'd want to be involved um, purely because I feel like it's such a good basis um, to expand on all of the characters even though it's a short film are really complex and developed um, and I'd want to see where it can go <laughs> Look, there's only really one real answer to this, isn't there? Um, the best line of dialogue. Stay away from my apples. Love it. Mm -hmm.